Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the second session of iSeries webinar Tone of Tradition. My name is Smita from Yamaha Music India. Yamaha has taken this initiative to acknowledge the importance of Indian music around the world. Today, we have with us Mr. Adolf, a versatile vocalist trained in Hindustani vocals and along with him we have Mr. Glenn, an accomplished keyboardist who also worked with Yamaha as a keyboard specialist. Today's topic is everyday practice routine and innovative learning. So over to Adolf now. Thank you. Namaste. Uh, first of all, welcome back to the second uh, webinar of Tones of Tradition from Yamaha India. So a huge shout out to all of you for being here and making it to this webinar. So uh, first things first, we have today's uh, attendees using laptops and mobile phones. जो लोग लैपटॉप यूज कर रहे हैं यू हैव टू स्क्रीन्स ऑन वन साइड यू कैन सी विजुअल्स एंड ऑन द अदर साइड यू कैन सी मी बट फॉर द फोन यूजर्स यू हैव टू स्विच इन बिटवीन बट डोंट वरी आई टेक यू थ्रू इट तो फॉर द पीपल हु आर यूजिंग लैपटॉप्स ऑन द राइट साइड एज आई सेड यू कैन सी सम विजुअल्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड यू कैन सी अ स्मॉल चैट बॉक्स एंड वेन एवर आई आस्क यू समथिंग जब भी मैं आपसे बात करूँ या आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछूँ अगर आप मुझे रिप्लाई करें या मेरे से इंटरेक्ट करें तो इट बी रियली लवली द सेम गोज फॉर मोबाइल यूजर्स यू हैव अ चैट बॉक्स एट द बॉटम ऑफ योर स्क्रीन सो एंड वेन एवर आई आस्क यू यू कैन प्लीज रिप्लाई टू मी आई कैन सी अ गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ओके सो बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड आई लाइक टू आस्क यू इफ यू वुड लाइक टू लिसन टू मी इन इंग्लिश uh if you like english we can go on along in english uh if you like uh, agar aap meri awaaz hindi mein sunna chahte hain to aap uh, type karke mujhe bata dijiye ki aap hindi mein sunna chahte hain aur main hindi mein continue kar sakta hu i saw hindi there english english and hindi aur uh, to ek kaam karte hain hum dono ko mix karte hain aur aasha karte hain ki ye aur smoothly chala jayega तो प्रैक्टिस इज द की टू सक्सेस ये तो आपने सुना ही होगा कि प्रैक्टिस इज द की टू सक्सेस स्पेशली इन म्यूजिक द बेस्ट वे टू प्रैक्टिस इज टू गो स्लो फिक्स रूटीन एंड बिल्ड अप स्लोली तो आज का हमारा टॉपिक ही प्रैक्टिस रूटीन है तो मैं जल्दी से दो तीन पॉइंट बता देता हूं जो आप रूटीन में अपने डाल सकते हैं नंबर वन है एक जगह लीजिए जो आपके लिए अच्छी रहेगी आप एक टाइम लीजिए जो आपके लिए सेट रहेगा उस जगह में डिस्ट्रैक्शंस नहीं होने चाहिए कोई बात नहीं करना चाहिए मोबाइल स्क्रीन्स नहीं रहनी चाहिए और आप उस दिन क्या प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हैं वो आपके माइंड में क्लियर रहना चाहिए तो अगर ये सारी चीजें सेट हैं तो हम आगे की ओर बढ़ सकते हैं जो है वोकल ट्रेनिंग आप मुझे ये बताइए कि आपको क्यों लगता है कि वॉइस ट्रेनिंग इंपॉर्टेंट है वाई डू यू थिंक दैट वॉइस ट्रेनिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन क्विकली टाइप एंड जस्ट टेल मी वॉट यू फील अबाउट वोकल ट्रेनिंग आई कैन सी सम आंसर द बेसिक एंड द मोस्ट इजिएस्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज टू प्रिपेयर एंड सेव यू फ्रॉम 
वोकल स्ट्रेन देखिए वोकल ट्रेनिंग का मतलब बहुत गाना नहीं होता इट इज यूजिंग सम एक्सरसाइजेस एंड बिल्डिंग अप स्लोली ताकि आपके वॉइस को स्ट्रेन ना हो ताकि आप स्मूद गा सकें सो वोकल एक्सरसाइजेस डू नॉट नीड फैंसी सिंगिंग या इट डज नॉट नीड फैंसी सिंगिंग एक्सरसाइजेस टू बी सुपर इफेक्टिव तो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गो थ्रू अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड वेरी ईजी एक्सरसाइज uh which i can hope that you will be able to do along with me so it is very simple it is very good for beginners and intermediates so uh let's get to into it before we sing uh, as i've told you in the last webinar also first what we need to do is deep breathing uh jin logon ne hamara last webinar nahi dekha the link is on the yamaha india page and uh, you can just uh, watch it there so number one is deep breathing aap visuals mein dekh sakte hain ki jab bhi aap saans andar lete hain aapka pet फूल जाता है और जब भी आप एक्सेल करते हैं पेट वापस अंदर चला जाता है तो डीप ब्रीदिंग के बाद हम आ गए हमारे वोकल वार्मअप्स पे वार्मअप का मतलब होता है किसी भी एक्सरसाइज से पहले हमें वार्मअप करना चाहिए ताकि हमारे वोकल कॉर्ड्स को स्ट्रेन ना हो तो आज हम एक छोटा सा वोकल वार्मअप करेंगे उसके लिए लेटमी प्रिपेयर तो मैं एक ताल ले रहा हूं जिसका नाम है तीन ताल आशा है कि आपको ताल सुनाई दे रहा होगा ओके okay. अब हम इसका तानपुरा ऑन कर देते हैं पर ये मेरा सुर नहीं है तो तबले और तानपुरा का सुर जो मैं अपने सुर जो है दूसरी सफेद की उसके लिए चेंज हम कर रहे हैं तो अब हम आ गए मेरे सुर पे तो इस एक्सरसाइज से पहले हम अपने सात सुरों को फेमिलियराइज कर लेते हैं सा से सात तक तो हम अभी गाएंगे सा से सा तक बट दो आकार में पहला होगा आ की मात्रा जो हम आ ऐसे गाएंगे और दूसरा होगा जो हम हम करेंगे तो सा से सा तक और वापस चलिए शुरू करते हैं इस एक्सरसाइज के लिए मैं अभी एक केहरवा लूंगा अभी के लिए तीन ताल करते हैं एक्सरसाइज के लिए कहरवा यूज करते हैं प्रिटी स्टेट फॉरवर्ड अब हम कर रहे हैं हम जब भी हम हम करते हैं तो हमारा थ्रोट वार्म अप हो जाता है तो शुरू करते हैं तो अब हम सीख चुके हैं हमारे सात सुर अब हम एक स्टेयर केस एक्सरसाइज करेंगे जिन लोगों को स्टेयर केस एक्सरसाइज पता नहीं है एक बहुत बेसिक एक्सरसाइज है जहां हम स्टार्ट सा से कर रहे हैं फिर हम रे को ला रहे हैं फिर हम गा को ला रहे हैं तो जब भी हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं तो एक एक नोट को हम लेकर वापस आ रहे हैं तो हम पहले स्टार्ट करेंगे सा से यह है केहरवा बीट बहुत ही बेसिक और इफेक्टिव एक्सरसाइज है जो आपके वोकल ट्रेनिंग में हेल्प करता है तो दैट नाउ यू हैव लर्न द वोकल एक्सरसाइजेस एंड द वोकल प्रैक्टिस इट्स टाइम टू लर्न द कीबोर्ड वार्म अप सो विल गो ओवर टू ग्लेन
beyond. Thank you, Rodolf. I hope everyone is having a great time. It's good to see all of y'all back here again with us, with Yaha, with Rodolf, with me to enjoy this. Hi, my name is Glenn Fernandez. It is vital for me to know you will apply these exercises that we're going to show you today with yourself. And to make yourself uh, practice better, you will apply these for yourself. So please type in a yes or a or yeah if you really are into this. I want to see all these things coming up there. I can see them coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for always being here, for encouraging us, because right now we're just talking to the computer. That's it. You know, but knowing that you guys are right there just keeps us going. So I know most of you have keyboards hooked up because, uh, you know, I'm going to show you some exercises today with the keyboard. So whoever got the keyboards, please switch it on. I'm going to switch on the camera to my keyboard and we're going to start. Okay. So firstly, I would recommend everyone to do an exercise, which is a 16 note exercise, uh, which I call what a melon. Okay. It's very simple. I'll just switch on the camera to the other side. Uh, wait, it's gone. Okay, so watermelon is very simple. So if I look at this note here, we take all the white notes. So we divide 16 notes into four plus four plus four plus four, all right? Very simple math. So I go watermelon, 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 watermelon. Okay, I'll play an octave down. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. 16 notes, okay? Now, uh, Adolf, uh, uh, can you just give me something um, like an Indian tar that we can play? All right, so uh, Adolf, can you do the tar? The tar is... Adolf. So you see, you can have um, these practices doing every day, the watermelon uh, at, a, at a decent tempo of about 100 BPM. And uh, the fun part is uh, the notes that we play in uh, Carnatic, to, to count it easy, is ta ki ta ka di mi. Okay, it's very easy. A lot of people in the Carnatic field who play, it's very easy for them to count this way. In the Hindustani, do you guys know what it's called in the Hindustani? You guys know? Because we have Adolf. In case you don't know, I can ask him to. Adolf, can you tell them what it's called in the uh, in the, uh, the, the four count note is called dha, dhin, dhin, dha, as for the theme awesome. tal. Awesome. 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 All right. So moving on to the next side, we have uh, radio. I know it may be sounding very funny, but this is very the way it's made much easier for you to remember and practice all the time. So radio is very simple. We got to go three notes. Re, D, O. Just three notes. That simple. Okay. In Carnatic, it is called Ta, Ki, Ta. Okay. So you hear many people doing that. Um, since we have uh, Adolf right now here and we have uh, him having the, uh, you know, the keyboard, he got the, the Tals with him. Um, Adolf, can you give me one of the Tals? Uh, but before that, I will show you on this on the keyboard. It goes ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta. Okay, so we're doing a set of twelve notes, three plus three plus three plus three. Okay, it's a very simple uh, exercise to do. So, uh, Adolf, can you give me a nice mridangam uh, South Indian? Let's go to the south. on the camera from this side to this yes 
Is it on? Yes. So I hope you. It's it's interesting to see how you can take watermelon and radio and convert it into your playing, and then using this, you can play a set of sixteen notes in the same hundred BPM, and then you switch on to a triplet, which is you know, what is called four notes and three notes. All right. So like brushing teeth every day, uh, you must practice for at least at least fifteen minutes a day. Is that too much? Is that too much? You guys can type there. Is it yes, too much, or too less, or too much that you cannot do the practice time? Okay, there's there are people keep on all the ways driving very good. All right, so fifteen minutes is all I ask everyone to keep practicing. Very very important for you to practice fifteen minutes, and by doing that, you can put these practices and then. As your flow gets better, you can keep adding different other keys. You know, like playing all the twelve keys, and you'll be very fluent with the keyboard when you're playing. Okay. Now, um, as uh, I promised last time, the last session, all for the teachers especially who are watching. Thank you very much for coming again. Uh, innovative learning. So Yamaha has always strived to find better solutions to help students as well as teachers. So. Uh, we we just thought about what shall we do, and we put in some raga scales inside the keyboard for you. Okay, so uh, if you are if you're playing keyboard, if you're singing, you're playing an instrument, and you want to practice some kind of a you know kind of scale, or you want to play some cycles, the raga scale has got all those five cycles. So I would like to ask uh, Adolf, how can it help you practicing? I think if we show in the use case, probably everyone could understand much better, right? So, Adolf, uh, I hope everyone can hear me clearly. All right, the Raga scales is a very effective tool, जो आप use कर सकते हैं किसी भी राग को सीखने में. तो keyboard आपको कुछ राग देता है और उसमें पांच cycle है जो आप ये कर सकते हैं क्या प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं पहले उसका हो गया आरो और अवरो फिर दो दो नोट्स का प्रैक्टिस फिर सारेगा रेगा मा वैसे तीन तीन नोट्स का मिश्रण फिर चार नोटों का मिश्रण फिर एक और एक्सरसाइज है जो थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट है पर अगर आप सीख सकते हैं तो आपके लिए बहुत बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो पहला जो हम राग ले रहे हैं यहाँ पे वो है भैरव तो ये हो गया हमारा राग भैरव तो राग की जो स्केल्स है रागा स्केल्स एक बहुत विशाल टॉपिक है जिसको हम मतलब कि एक वेबिनार में तो कवर नहीं कर सकते तो मैं आपको ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि ये सारे जितने भी राग हैं हमारे पास ऑलमोस्ट uh, 400 टू 500 हंड्रेड रागस हैं तो सारे राग 10 ग्रुप में या दस थाट में डिवाइड किए गए हैं तो इन ग्रुप्स को हम थाट बोलते हैं तो ये जो डिविजन है वो उनके नोट्स या जो सुर लगते हैं उस राग में उसके आधार पे हैं तो अगर सात सुर हो गए तो बिलावल हो गया वैसे ही हमारे पास दस ऐसे ग्रुप्स हैं 
जो रागों को लेते हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर नोट्स तो हमारे पास यहाँ पे मैं हमारे कीबोर्ड में 20 राग हैं जो ज्यादातर प्रैक्टिस में यूज होते हैं अब हम नेक्स्ट राग ले रहे हैं जो है असावरी तो आपने देखा होगा ये जो साइकिल है पांच साइकिल का वो कंटिन्यू होता जा रहा है अब एक हमारे पास बहुत ही स्पेशल गिफ्ट है आपके लिए तो जैसे आप जानते हैं इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक दो भाग में बढ़ चुका है वो है हिंदुस्तानी और कर्नाटक तो कुछ राग ऐसे हैं जो समान हैं पर उनके नाम चेंज हैं तो जैसे कि कर्नाटक में हम एक राग ले रहे हैं जिसका नाम है कल्याणी जिसको हम हिंदुस्तानी में कल्याण बोलते हैं और इनके जो सुर हैं वो सेम है तो अब हम क्या करेंगे हम एक कर्नाटक राग का स्केल लेकर हिंदुस्तानी बोल गाएंगे या हिंदुस्तानी के इम्प्रोवाइज करेंगे हम दोनों को मिक्स करके एक इनोवेटिव गाना बनाएंगे आशा है कि आपको मृदंगम सुनाई दे रहा है तो अभी आपने एक ट्रैक सुना अब मैं उस ट्रैक को म्यूट कर रहा हूं और फिर से उसी राग को बजा रहा हूं तो आपने अभी देखा कि हमने कैसे एक कर्नाटक राग के स्केल से एक हिंदुस्तानी राग को मिक्स करके एक इनोवेटिव राग बनाया मतलब कि राग तो सेम है पर हम गा सकते हैं तो अगर आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख रहे हैं आपको एक पता चलेगा कि डिड यू नो द वर्ड रागा डज नॉट मीन म्यूजिक चौकिंग बात है कि आपको पता है कि अगर म्यूजिक नहीं है तो और क्या उसका मीनिंग हो सकता है अगर आपको कुछ आइडिया है तो मुझे टाइप करके बता दीजिए दो तीन आंसर आ रहे हैं गेस्ट कर दीजिए कुछ भी गेस्ट कर सकते हैं कि अगर राग म्यूजिक नहीं है तो उस राग का ओरिजिनल मतलब क्या हो सकता है भाव मुझे भाव दिख रहा है मूड दिख रहा है पर आप जान के ये शौक हो जाएंगे कि राग का जो एक्चुअल मतलब है वो है रंग कलर या इंग्लिश में जैसे बोलते हैं ह्यू क्योंकि जितने राग हैं वो उतने कलर्स को डिनोट करता है ताकि 300 400 आप मिक्स कर सकते हैं कलर्स को तो ओरिजिनल जिसका राग का जो मतलब है वो है रंग क्योंकि राग और रंग हम भगवान के लिए यूज़ करते हैं हम सीजन्स के लिए यूज़ करते हैं और बहुत सारी चीजों के लिए सो so, राग का मतलब म्यूजिक नहीं रंग है और एक और बात है हमारे बॉडी में अगर गाने के लिए हमें सौ से ज्यादा मसल्स यूज करने पड़ते हैं अगर नॉर्मल एक बंदा या एक आदमी सोचेगा कि एक या दो मसल से हम गा सकते हैं पर हमारे बॉडी के लिए सौ मसल्स चाहिए होते हैं गाने या बात करने के लिए जो है हमारे थ्रोट के मसल्स हो गए हमारे चेस्ट के मसल्स हो गए हमारे लिप्स के और हमारे जॉ के
तो अब हम ग्रेन से सीखेंगे यस थिंग इज कमिंग ऑन थैंक यू डॉल्फ इनोवेटिव राइट आई थिंक व्हाट एवर डॉल्फ इज शेयर्ड इज यू नो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी आपके लिए भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होगा आई लाइक टू शेयर अ क्विक इंसिडेंट लॉकडाउन से पहले जब हम हमारी जिंदगी नॉर्मल थी हम पूरा कहीं पर भी घूम सकते थे आई वॉज ट्रैवलिंग टू चेन्नई मेकिंग ऑफ द आई सीरीज एंड उस टाइम उस दौरान आई हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विजिट वन ऑफ द मृदंगम क्लासेस जो टीचर्स मृदंगम सिखाते हैं बच्चों को तो उस क्लास में मैंने यू नो आई स्पेंड टाइम लुकिंग एट कैसे वो पढ़ाते हैं एंड आई फेल्ट सो इट्स लाइक दिस मृदंगम क्लास होता है तो टीचर विल बी देयर टैपिंग लाइक दिस एंड देर विल बी फोर स्टूडेंट्स ओके एक दो तीन चार होंगे या तो पाँच होंगे सो वन स्टूडेंट विल प्ले वन पर्टिकुलर ग्रूफ लाइक कोई ताल बजाएंगे and then the other teach, other students will have to play some improvisation of that groove okay so example uh, when i just played one of those uh, grooves before you know mridangam groove so the uh, mridangam teacher would have to play different differently or when unke haath de gaye it was red because he was going on and on like this okay so innovative ways i explain to the teacher like sir agar aapke paas kuch ho that you can play back and he say kya yaar agar aisa kuch hoga it would be really interesting for them to play so example like the raga scales is very innovative way to bring something new to our students you know even the riyas both uh, innovative idea hai jahan par we have different uh, you know tals where people can uh, play and then find the guru to teach them the extra things you know the the new things of the player to play okay so the interesting both interesting incident tha i thought i can share it with you for the teachers who are uh, teaching any percussion or any kind of music it becomes very very effective if they use the keyboard ye sab uh, to use the uh, features of the keyboard to teach the students and they involved inside even raga scale you see there's a nice background music so you can practice well okay so new innovative ideas that yama keeps looking for uh, to bring to you for the students and for the teachers for everybody okay so uh, before i wrap up the session a quick recap for everybody people who have come late people who are already there thank you very much for coming early staying in the lobby uh, and uh, for the quick recap uh, we had why warm ups okay that was a topic that we covered uh, adolf uh, covered that uh, deep breathing exercises adolf ne explain kiya ki kaise deep breathing exercises can help us perform better okay uh, we had uh, vocal warm ups we learned a lot of uh, uh, vocal warm ups uh, staircase that was new to me i never seen uh, you know a nice way of explaining uh, a staircase learning procedure uh, watermelon radio i'm sure boss logon ko ye bada funny laga hoga watermelon radio to maine pehli baar suna tha i also felt like you know it is you know a little bit weird but it it is a very nice innovative way to keep yourself engaged and learn playing on the keyboard because all is about 16 notes and 12 notes that's all we use uh, when we are soloing and we using indian percussions like the tals uh, we can learn so much from way they divide uh, the notes and obviously the raga scales that adolf has sang so beautifully adolf thank you very much for singing so great i think he's a fantastic singer um, young and you know he's so good with his uh, in his uh, singing that i think he's going to do much much more things in life okay but before i move further uh i would like to show you one thing more uh, it's gone yeah so before uh, i i and adolf will be back for the q and a session but before that watch this
enjoyed the the song. It was one of the songs of uh, the IE 400. And now we come to our question and answers. If you can hear us, please let loose and uh, yes. doubt aapke man mein hai, any doubts that you have, anything that you yeah. did not understand, you can just please ask us. Just ask keep us on too. typing. You're waiting for your questions. Oh, do we have questions here? Mr. Shetty, I mean, great session. Thank you very much. Mr. Ram, thank you very much for you giving us this credit that we gave you this, uh, you know, classical music. It's great that you joined back to your roots. Yeah, thank you very much for all your, um, you know, comments. I see so many people are really happy with it. What is a symphony? Harsh Shah. Mm. Adolf, you would like to yeah? explain this answer. Uh, could you repeat the question back to me? What is a symphony? Symphony, uh, like we have many different boxes in that. Like um, there's symphonies in the Western thing where they've made different musical pieces where this uh, it's in Indian music also. So uh, symphony, uh, if you could like, like clarify your question a bit more, uh, maybe we both will be able to answer it better. Yeah. No, it's okay. I, I, I'll tell him. Uh, so Harsh, in basic terms, if I tell you, when India when it's a big thing, it's a big बारात जाती है राइट सारे इंस्ट्रूमेंट के साथ एक सैक्सोफोन ये ये बहुत सारे सो दैट इज एक्चुअली वन सिंफनी ओके सो दैट इज वन ब्रास बैंड दैट दे कैन कॉल देम सिंफनी इन इन ब्रॉड टर्म्स इज समथिंग व्हिच वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वायलेंस लाइक देयर बी अबाउट 50 वायलेंस 50 चेलोस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्ट्रिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट देयर बी सम अदर अदर थिंग्स सो देयर आर डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशंस ऑफ सिंफनी ओके so as adol said it's a very you know very elaborated question so in short form to understand it's a group of strings or brass or together both of them together that they use in symphony uh, well, i think i missed a lot of other questions in front let me quickly go uh, is riyas function in any other series no it's only in the i series the i 400 and i 500 that's the only one it has the Tanpura function have mm. shruti adjustments to micro tuning settings. Ah, uh, no. You can micro tune the whole keyboard. Yeah. Not only the Tanpura, you can open the micro tune and you can micro tune it to a live instrument also. It's possible. Uh, beautiful, amazing session. Thank you very much. Oh, definitely. Mr. Rohini will definitely get in touch with the next session. Uh, how to judge rhythm for a particular song as I'm lacking in that? Uh, okay. This is a question from Anish. You want to like to answer the question? Yeah. Uh, oh. So Anish, yeah. Anish, if you're, uh, let's take an example. You're listening to a question. Yeah, you're listening to a song. I'm sorry. We're listening to a song and I'd like you to tap along with it. You can make it out into two major different beats that is your one two three and four and your one two and three it'll be tuck 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 that is your four count or it'll be tuck 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 it'll be one two three one two three that'll be your waltz and your normal four count beat yeah just to add that for you uh anish anish right anish yeah um this Along with that, if you keep on listening to songs and trying to um, listen to the beats more and more, it'll just feed your subconscious mind with the amount of uh, beat language that you keep learning and it will help you as time passes by. Okay, we'll go to the next question from uh, um, Daniel. Nice, interesting name, Daniel Prince. Can we add Riyaz in other series? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is specifically for the i 400 and i 500 it's for the i series that's why you cannot do that however you have you know um, other uh, patterns like drum patterns for uh, tabla patterns for the other series you have that okay i hope i answered that question to you 
uh, how to learn the keyboard easily <laughs> oh oh this is a question i asked my dad when you know i was, I was little and he's like oh, nothing comes easy uh, you this without with, with no pain there's no gain okay yeah. so <laughs> as i said 15 minutes a day when you're practicing it'll be good enough if you start with the scales and then you keep building up uh, having a teacher is very very important because he will teach you the way you stand the way you play uh, without straining your muscles you see adults the way he sits the way he plays is very comfortable then he can go on for hours but a lot of people when they're practicing they have a different posture they'll have the keyboard right up there or right here so you're having strain on your shoulders and your body which will reduce your practice time oh, the key is to thing. yeah the key is to be relaxed and yes. uh, as glen told you 15 minutes of practice is minimum especially if you're doing any kind of music 15 minutes of practice for anything in the world is minimum because you want to get better you need to practice if you're starting off like i'm sorry and then you practice and then you can go like see you see the difference you you have to start off somewhere but then if you yeah. practice you just build up exactly we have another question can we change the pitch of the tabla sure uh, would you, would you like that. yeah okay uh, so we have a beat right now okay uh, i'll just okay so i've switched on the tanpura also just to make it clear so i have a knob here that's changing the key of my tabla and tanpura see did you just hear the key change you can do that to all twelve keys this is a c c sharp e flat f see it just keeps on going you just have to turn it up and it'll change i hope that is satisfactory yeah i think so i think so uh next question comes from uh prabjot kaur what is a tishram tishram acha tishram uh, is a beat it's it's a name of a carnatic uh, actually a southern beat which goes by the count of three notes as glen had explained in his radio part it goes like 1 2 3 1 2 3 if you want i can give you a live example okay i'll just pick up can you hear i'll just use the tempo 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay So it's a beat from the south part of India. Correct. So I hope Prabhjot, you got your answer. Uh, it's a music written for a full orchestra. Yes, Thomas. Music is written for a whole orchestra. They do not play with imagination. They don't play by ear. They always read sheets and they play back. Okay. Uh, Anish, my left also doesn't work properly. Uh, can you okay. tell some exercises for the same? Anish, Anish, if you want to track, it's it's nothing that you have left exercise separate and right exercise separate. They both are the same hands, right? So yeah. you can apply this exercise that I showed you for the left hand also. You can go one two three four, one two three four, one two three four. You can go the same way. It it will help you in both ways. Okay. Um. Got next. There's a big question. question. How to compose in a well manner? This is from Harsh Shah. um hush compose i we really don't know what is your meaning of compose you're talking about composing music okay uh um there are many work arounds in a well manner okay uh, however this session today is not about production or uh, recording um there are many work arounds that everybody needs to follow whatever is easy for you i think that is the best way for you to work okay obviously there are particular things that you got to do is like if i'm going to perform i would come and you know take a shower make sure i come for sound check check my sounds you know connect my microphone see everything is working fine then i'll perform right so similarly with comp composing the same thing happens you got to choose your instruments first 
uh, have a decent session, name everything, tag everything, you know, those kind of things you need to do. Probably in a session where we're going to do, um, you know, uh, music production, you know, which we'll be doing in the future. Uh, probably you can attend one of those sessions. It will be really, really uh, beneficial for you. Okay. Um, we got the next question. Uh, which one is better to learn, Carnatic or Western? And it's like oranges or apples. Which one do you like to eat? <laughs> yeah. You know, depending on your taste, I, I think, I guess. You know, depending on your case. Uh, how we will be able to practice with Okay, Hitesh has got this question, Adolf. I think you can answer this better. How we will okay. be able to practice what, which, I mean, how we will be able to practice which you taught today, like what you what we taught today, how can you practice? Okay. Uh, if you're starting with the vocal warm-ups, uh, first of all, you need to take a comfortable note, anything, because you will understand where you're not getting any strain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you take you have your normal sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni. You have your seven notes. Exactly. You sing that. You 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 are familiarized with the seven. You you are familiarized with the bracket. Yes. Then you go with the staircase. Sa, re, ga, sa, re, ga, re, sa. You just keep on adding everything. And then you get to practice. You get your one scale right. Maybe next week you can add another scale. You can add another scale. Then you can expand your vocal range. You can improve clarity and there's a lot more things you can do with it exactly so just to add uh hitesh hitesh whatever we taught today is exactly what you need to do in everyday routine okay that means start with what uh, adolf just explained just now start with the things that we explained to you uh, the, the video will be on youtube so you can again go there and check it out and then you can pause it and play it. And if you want to download, you can also download it. Uh, so those things you can do, you know, and then you can see that is your basic practice routine for every day. And then you can start building up uh, more and more exercises. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, how to arrange in the our composition to enhance the composition? Harsh. Uh, I would just say that, you know, composition arrangement, as I said, this is not a session for the uh, arrangement, but if you are uh, wanting to make things better, like your composition to sound much better, it's, it's, there's a saying in Hindi, Jitna chini daluge, utna meetha banana, mm -hmm. right? The more yeah. sweet instruments you put in your uh, composition, it's very, very evident that your song will come good. Uh, can now, I add to that? Producing, you always would need uh, to get a good, a great drum beat playing first, okay? If you tabla or drums or percussion, koi bhi le rahe, that has to be great first, okay? Uske baad, whatever bass tone you're selecting, select a great tone. If those two are together, married together, everything else that you add just works like a charm, okay? A lot of people, they select instruments baad mein. I would recommend pele Get your grooves right, get your bass right, and then add your other harmonies based on the sonic quality that you have. So that is one way you can do. In the keyboard, you can listen to the styles and you can listen to the arrangements of the you know things that are there in the keyboard and understand how it you can use them in your arrangement. Like what kind of instruments are used, what kind of tonality of the instruments are used. All that can help you. Okay? I hope that I answered that question for you. Edward mm -hmm. uh, from Shillong. Hi Edward. Good to see you from Shillong. Uh, how good is the sampling feature of this keyboard? Uh, okay, you asked in the last time. Uh, can I use the mic in sampling inbuilt mic? Um, okay, so first of all, the sampling quality is uh, you can sample in four different uh, zones, A, B, C, D, with three second samples. Okay, three second samples and one for the main instrument. So as it's an ICD, it's more for the Indian user, for the Indian styles and those, you know, uh, Indian practice tools. Um, along with that, as Western styles and everything like that. But the sampling is very limited because you're going to play back uh, some kind of, uh, you know, like a vocal sound or a shout or something like that. So that you have a three second loop for those things. And uh, your question about the microphone. Uh, no, the keyboard does not have a microphone. It has an aux in so that you can record external sources inside the ICs. 
Okay, I hope I answered your question. Uh, how do I, how to add perfect rhythm to a newly composed song? How to add a perfect rhythm to a newly composed song? Daniel, mm -hmm. okay, you have any ideas, Adolf? For the perfect rhythm. How? I, I, yeah. Add perfect rhythm to a newly composed song. See, uh, your basic song is divided, as I said, in four or three. Yeah, your basic, it will be divided into some groove. Yeah, then you just need to pick out some grooves, play them along, pick out what's best for you. Like there's so many options. There's so many options on the keyboard, on the net. You can just, you can put in, take something out because the beats are similar. There's just more added into it less taken out from it. So there's yeah. so many things you can just play around with and just select what works out for you. Exactly. I mean, to add Daniel to this, what uh, Dov just said, um, if you want to add groove to a existing song, you need to listen to your arrangement. If it's a guitar driven song or a piano driven song, see what accompaniment they are doing. It's like jing, 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 jing. Then you would have to find a drums which is going to set in that pocket. Okay, but if you you select like a you know a, a jig, 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 kind of a, you know like a four by four kind of a, a mute palm mute kind of song, then you would want to use something else you know in the drum. So it depends on you on your arrangement how to bring these things inside. That's why I always say use uh, you can use it both ways. You can use a song and then add drums, but it's better to always to have a better drum groove first and then build on the song. Okay. That's one. And okay, Adolf, this is a question from Joel. How okay. can we recognize a song pitch? A song pitch? Yes. Uh, like if you're a beginner or a basic keyboard player, you'll just have to search it around because when you're training your ear to recognize it. But then um, there's something called the perfect pitch also because which comes with a lot of practice. You're listening to a song and then you can just pick out the pitch that is uh, that it is in it's not actually the pitch it's the key that it is in and um you can just listen to a song uh, it comes with a lot of practice i can just say when you're beginning you can just play a song try searching it on the keyboard or an instrument just hum it out use your cell phone apps anything but then once you're getting good at it once you're practicing more of recognizing the tones or the key that it is in you you'll you'll uh, master a perfect pitch yeah Oh, uh, Joel. Um, also, you can, you know, add uh, what today uh, Adolf explained in his exercises. When you're playing that, you're actually singing the note. It's humming in your body. And that note is going to stay in your mind. It'll stay in your ears because you're training of not only vocals. You're training your ears. You're training your body to listen to that sound. So a lot of people ask this question, how do I pitch correct? How do I know the song of the pitch? It's only with practice that you do every day that you hit a note and you listen to it. Okay. And as Adolf explained about perfect pitch, that comes with, you know, spending again at least about 15, 20 minutes on only pitch. That means I hit a C, I do a C, and then I do a C octave, and then I do another octave if I can't do, you know, and then practice. There are different exercises for that will make you sing, you know, get to know the correct pitch. Okay. Um, next question is what practice should I do to play floor release easily? Okay. So Vivian, I think, uh, your answer is in the next session. Okay. I'll tell you why for the next session, because the next session, we're going to, I'm going to show something very cool about, uh, songs like this. Like you have some classical Western songs that are really, really difficult. A lot of people love to play them. Uh, however, they don't know where to start. And that is what exactly I'm going to show in the next session that I'm sure you will love to attend. And it's super, super easy. It's super easy. As I said, 15 minutes a day. And I can, I can, I can say that if you practice that well, four release will be under your fingers in about what, maybe 10 days, 15 days at the max, depending on how much time you put in. But I'm sure you can, you will definitely enjoy the next session if you're interested to play the four release easily. Yeah, let me give you a, uh, let me give you a teaser just uh, because no, 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 no. I, I, I don't I don't I don't want to let this go out. No, no, no. You should just wait. You should just wait. Okay. Now, yeah. which keyboard are you using? Uh, this is a question from Leroy D'Souza. 
Okay. Me, I'm using a Yamaha PSR i500. That is the new keyboard of the Yamaha i series, which has okay. the all the Indian tunes in it. Right. Uh, most okay. Then the question from uh, most important rias for a keyboard player. Okay. Mm, most important rias for a keyboard player, as I said. Finger exercise is very, very important. So it opens up your fingers. And uh, then you have a lot of, I mean, it depends. Uh, very rightly said with regards in the beginning that you don't need some fancy exercises to actually warm up and do things like that. You can just do basic stuff at a decent tempo and keep pushing them up. You know, so when you do that, you'll actually get a good grip on playing your keys. All right. So there is nothing fixed. You can use any rias. Uh, from the Riyaz functionalities, you can use any of them and practice along with them and learn from them. I always, you know, take reference from these stars and see how they are phrasing it. How can I practice with them and try to learn from them all these things? Yeah, so as, as I was telling you about the seven notes. Yeah. See, that's the most basic thing you can do. Seven. Yeah. You can just keep on increasing it. See, you can do all the 12 scales and your fingers are just going to move like magic. Exactly. There's a question from Mukul says, explain Raga and Thart in an easy way. Okay, Rags and Thart. Yes. Okay, uh, I'll just brush it up in two or three sentences. Rags are based on notes. See, anything is based on notes and Rags are divided into thoughts. Thoughts you can uh, do not take off it as a very difficult or uh, rocket science thing. Just take it like groups. It is 10 groups based on notes. If it's a seven note rag, it is one group. If it is a five note rag, it is another group. If it is six note rag, it is another group. If, ha if it has a minor, if it has a comal, if it has a thiever, it is another group. So like that we, in Indian classical music, we have 10 groups. Uh, please, um, um, the person who asked uh, us this question, we are really thankful for you. Please stick around for the next sessions because we are going to go into it deeper. And I hope you can get your answers. Yeah, this is a question from Joseph. I wanted to know if the pitch of the tabla can be changed uh, in rhythm, not riyas. Uh, in the rhythm, you cannot change the you, uh, tabla. Yeah. Okay. And the Riyaz is the only thing that you can use because it's very detailed uh, to change that. Okay. However, if you want to use the i500 to record something like make a track or something like that, there's a, a list of um, uh, you know tabla kits which uh, are recorded in different keys. So you can use any of the keys that you are recording the song in, and you can use them to play uh, what tabla you are playing in. Okay. There's a question from Edward. I love the warmness of the speaker, the i400. Thank you very much. And the i500 too. Can uh, you talk about uh, the outputs? Okay. So, um, a lot of people don't know about this. Uh, I've seen many people in India when they're connecting the keyboard, they connect it with just one jack, right? Um, if you just connect one jack, what happens is uh, you are receiving only a mono signal, okay? I use something like this, a cable like this. This is like a 2, 3.5, you know what this is? like a you know, a lap up cable. Okay, so it got two rings on it. Okay, so I always use these two rings, and on the other end of it is two outs. Okay, so you can get it with this, with two XLRs, or two with uh, uh, jack to jack, which you're getting two left and right signals. All right, if you put that out, and in your keyboard, you can select an EQ called India. It's a special EQ made for both the keyboards. You will find the same sound and the warmness that you're looking for in outside speakers also. Okay, I hope I answered your question very well. Uh, next comes from Vivan, uh, Vivan, uh, sorry, Vivan. What practice shall we do to play? Oh, let me do this question again. Okay, pretty enough uh, guidance so much. Nice as it was. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Is radio and watermelon enough to make your voice better? Yes, definitely. You listen to a lot of radio and eat a lot of watermelon. It's really going to help you. And yes, if you can add it to the practice, and I, and I, and I think um, Adolf in one of the cycles has done that. 
you know, it's four notes that he's doing again and again. So that is again part of the bottom ballad. But yes, triplets, which is radio, is not covered in the exercises. You can use that also for your warm ups, for your singing. It just helps you to, you know, get very familiar with the time signatures, whether it is four by four or the three by four. Okay. Um, Mr. Maruti, thank you very much for your kind comments. Uh, Edward, thank you very much for, uh, for your kind comments. Uh, what the question is? Yes, I agree. Edward says, you know, for everybody to know that. Uh, thanks to both of you guys at Yamaha. Keep playing. Music makes everyone better. I really agree to that. Thank you so much. Everyone who is not well gets better also if they play some music. Yeah. Uh, okay, a question from uh, I don't know more about things, but how I can use that. Okay, uh, let me see if I can pronounce his name. Deva Brata, correct? Please tell me if it's right. Okay, Deva Brata. Um, your question is about using the registration memory. Okay, there is a video on uh, our website. Uh, that's Yamaha Music India uh, about registration memory. If you can watch that, it'll be really, really good. Uh, it is where you just select any instrument that you want from the keyboard and just save it on the registration. It shows you step by step everything. Also, I will be talking about this in the next session uh, for everyone to know how it can help you play better okay, in your keyboard playing. All right. Uh, that's it. Okay, we've got just two more questions, Adolf. Yeah. Uh, you have told about raga means colors. So can you explain once again the details in English? Okay, so we have okay, some yeah. uh, speakers. Yeah. Uh, we would like to know in English, what does raga mean? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I couldn't, uh, I didn't speak English this at that time. question from Cyan. Okay. He says, uh, I'm please, very sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name. Um, I just see things that you're saying. Cyan says, uh, you have told Raga means color. Yeah. Uh, can you explain uh, it once again in English? Okay. So uh, what I meant by Raga means color is in the previous text or uh, in the old text that I've seen of, uh, and I've read, it means that Rag, Raga actually means the different hues. Hues or different colors that we you that we use in seasons, we use at um, festivals, because rag has evolved into the meaning of a music or a actual rag. But raga originally was supposed to be uh, denoting the different colors. So because you have so many rags, see uh, rags are made up of notes. You mix them, you uh, like take them half note up. You sing komals, you sing thieves, you get another rag. The same thing with colors, you take one color, you take another color, you mix them up, you get a, another color. So there's so much of possibility there. And that's what I meant by Raga actually meant color, according yeah. to the text. Right. So I hope you got your answer, Sayan. And Vivan, I think you're still very persistent about knowing about for release. I, I promise you, you next session, you will actually learn how to play the for release. And I won't play. I'll ask a dog to play. You know, yeah. uh, I hope you will be there and I hope to see you there for the session. Yeah, we can promise you, like, once we're done with the next session, you will be able to play. Exactly. All right. So, I think we got so many questions. Um, thank you very much again for all your support and being here and, you know, being with us during this lockdown situation. It's great to have everybody. It always feels very, uh, for me, it's very happy. To see you always, uh, you know, it's become like a family thing for me now. You know, we just know we have a date <laughs> on a particular day. And we're going to see all of you there. It's really, really great. I really thank all of you all for coming. Um, uh, before I forget, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um, check out the videos on Yamaha's music channel, which is on the YouTube, Yamaha Music India and Yamaha Global. And uh, visit the website in.yamaha.com for so many more details about anything that you want to know about the keyboard. Um, no information about Adolf and me on the website, but you know, for the keyboard instruments, you want to know you have everything like that. Okay. Uh, and uh, before I forget, the next session is going to be very, very interesting. See, as, as, as the sessions keeps increasing, our 
the, in, the time of the session keeps increasing, gets more intense. All right. Uh, so the next session has um, uh, topics like improve yourself. Do I need headphones? Why USB? Recording and a special surprise, which a part of the surprise I already told, um, you know, during the session when uh, who's, I forgot his name, Vivan was asking me about fur release. So that is one of the you know things I'm going to teach um, uh, at this at the surprise. And Adolf has got some more surprises for you uh, to share in the next session. So I hope you guys will, will. I hope to see you all, and I want to see you all again for the next session. For the ones who have attended the session the last time, thank you again for coming again for this new session. And the new people who've met us today, welcome again. And I hope to see you all together with me and the Dolph at yeah. the session for um, the next one. I'll let you know the name when you get the invitation. Okay. So yeah, thank you very you, much. Yeah, see you all in the next uh, webinar. And yes. if there was any mistake from uh, either one of us, please forgive us. If there was any mistake from us, please forgive us. And uh, we love you all. You've been a very great audience. Thank you. Yes. So now before I end the show, I would like uh, Smita to say some things. Yes. Thank you, Glenn and Rolf. Uh, from Yama Music India, I would like to thank everyone for their presence. Hope this session helped you a lot in understanding the Indian music. Post this session, you will get a thank you mail, uh, which will give you a small brief about this session and also a few details about the session three. And you will also get the link there. You can just register for the next session. And please don't forget to attend our coming sessions. So once again, thank you all for coming. And good night. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.